Hey, great looks family. So we are here today with a gel X nail extension um, tutorial. Um, so let's get right on in. So first we are going to start with prep because I know a lot of people want me to include prep. So I'm gonna be using my Mani Pro Passport and a diamond bit uh, cuticle bit. We are going to start by cleaning up the cuticles, removing all the dead skin. I'm gently pushing back the cuticles. We removed a, um, a gel polish, so I kind of pushed our cuticles back after I removed the gel polish. And once I go in that direction, I um, put my um, drill in reverse so that I can push the this skin back away from the nail bed. And I'm not focusing on the nail plate. I'm just really um, focused on the, the skin because see, this is a, a bit that's not sharp. So I'm just gently pushing back that skin away from the nail plate so that I can have the most nail estate as possible. Okay, so now that we have the cuticles all cleaned up, we're gonna go in with a, um, I'm gonna go in with a fine sanding band and just remove the shine and any excess um, polish that I may not have gotten off. And it's on a very low setting. I don't know what the, the RPMs are, but it's on very low. So if I push, give it any kind of, it stops, any kind of pressure. So we're gonna clean this up. Just remove any shine, any or excess uh, polish. The Light Elegance polish is a non-soak off polish. You have to actually file that off and I use some of that. So on this nail, so I had to get some of it off.
Okay, so now that we're done um, filing, well, etching, taking the shine off the natural nail, we're gonna clean it with alcohol to remove the dust and to also um, do my first round of dehydration. So we're gonna clean these off. Now, when I um, when I use this system off camera on a couple of people, so that I can get familiar with this system, I only used their products. So the first product we're going to use is their pH bonder, which is like a dehydrator. We're going to put apply that to we're going to apply that to all the nails. So when I was doing this um, on someone else off camera. I just decided to use my products as well because you know I, I back my own products. Well, not my products, but products that I've already used. So I'm gonna also go in with my OPI. Um, Bond-Aid. So now we're gonna go in with um, their acid-free gel primer. We're gonna put this on all 10 nails. And then I'm going to go in with my no lift primer because when I did my wife's nails the second time, they adhered a lot better or they stayed a lot longer when I used the no lift primer on top of this primer. I'm not saying that it that it's a must, but I think that it does last long. The manicure lasts longer when you use the no lift primer. Okay, so that's their primer. Now we're going to use no lift, no lift primer. I get this from Sally's. I think it's fifteen dollars at Sally's. And to shorten this process, I have already pre-measured my tips. So my tips are already ready. So we're just going to go ahead and apply the no lift primer to all 10 nails. Now we're going to apply one thin coat of builder gel to the natural nails. And you guys know I'm going to use my jealous light for that. I'm going to cheat, but you, if you're doing this on yourself, you would be could use this light, um, which comes with the kit. But I'm going to go ahead and use my Gelish light. I'm gonna put a thin coat of builder gel on, and then we're going to cure for 30 seconds. And this builder gel is really thick. You guys, let me know if you like the angle of this camera. I'm trying something new with the angle of the camera. I have a professional camera. But I, I haven't found anything that's strong enough, uh, like a tripod, strong enough to hold, hold it at a weird angle. So we're gonna cure this in a um, LED lamp for 30 seconds. 
If you have a UV lamp, it will be three minutes. So now we'll cure for 30 seconds. If you have a heat spike, pull your hand out and then just ease it in until the heat spike is gone. And then you can cure for a full 30 seconds. So now that we have the thin coat of uh, builder gel on, we are going to put our gel in our tip. My client already knows she's gonna help. Remember, push. So I've learned something as going, al going along with this particular um, method. I put a thin coat just on the tip. And then I will put a heavier bead or coat near the cuticle. Fan it out just a little bit because then it will, that may not be enough, but we'll see. So we will put at the cuticle, get ready to flash cure. We're going to push it down. And then she's gonna hold that over. And I seen a little squeeze out, so. Did they close her eyes? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Okay. And so, and then see in this one, it is not, a lot of squirt out uh, under here, like from down under. But I got a little bitty um, mistake there. Let me see if I can clean it now before we keep it, keep on going. Nope, that's okay. That'll fall right off. So we're gonna move on to the next nail. We're gonna put a little bit of the gel on the entire thing. And then I'm going to apply just a little bit there, a little bit more. And we are going to put it right here at the cuticle. And we are going to press down. And then we're going to cure. And you you can cure for 10 seconds. So let's do that again. Put a thin coat in, and then we're going to put a heavier coat on. There we go. And then we are going to put it at the cuticle. And squeeze down. We're going to cure. For 10 seconds. If you see, I'm trying to hide my bottle because I should have moved it so I don't cure it. Which is perfect. So we'll do it again, put a nice thin coat. Then we'll put a heavier bead right here in the well. And then we are going to put Right here in the cuticle. 
Then we'll squeeze down. And then we'll cure. For 10 seconds. We'll do it again. And because it's the no, thumbnail, we're gonna put a little bit extra in right there. Move, move your gel out of the light. Push our into our cuticle, push down and cure. You cure for 10 seconds. I'm going to cheat. We're gonna, um, after this, she will put her hand in the, my gelish lamp for 30 seconds for a full cure. So she'll put her hand in here. For 30 seconds and for a fuel full cure okay so um we are going to trim these back um because she doesn't want them as long because of her job so we are going to trim these back some So now we are going to file and shape these. We're gonna have to go in and hit our cuticles because there's I have some that has spillage. Which this one does. And then we are going to buff the shine off. And then we are going to do our gel polish. So now we are going to take our cuticle bit and we are going to just quickly go over. We're going to use this bit. We are going to go over the cuticles. Make sure that everything is nice and flush.
Okay, so now that we've cleaned up the cuticles, we are going to take this fine uh, sanding band and we are just going to um, remove the shine off the tip off the tip so that our gel polish will adhere. So now that we have buffed up the nails, we're going to remove the dust, remove the dust. I'm going to clean with alcohol. And now we're gonna go in with our polish. And you're pretty, and you're done. See how that's the this system is quick. So we are going today. We're gonna go in with um, OPI gel polish. It's called um, having a big big head day. And we're also going to go in on top of this with um, Light Elegance Be Mine. So we're going to do two coats of the OPI gel polish. We're going to cure in a LED lamp for 30 seconds. If you have a UV lamp, it will be two minutes. My next video that's coming will be on the Butterfly Poly Gel. And I'm actually nervous to do the Poly Gel. Because I feel like it's going to be a longer process than me laying acrylic. So now we're going to do our second coat of gel polish, of OPI gel polish.
Okay, so now we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to apply the Light Elegance Be Mine. This has to cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Uh, LED, UV, three minutes. So we're gonna. I have a short little story time for you. I was watching long hair, pretty nail videos, and she told me of, of uh, where to get the longer, um, the longer extension gel tips. And I uh, from e nail couture. So before I finished the video, I ran over to e nail couture and I seen all the beautiful long, extra long tips that he had, and I purchased quite a few nail tips and a few of his um storage boxes. I um went back to long hair pretty nail video the one that i was watching and she was like he has a um so i did the order and then just went back to her video i didn't check my email for confirmation um or anything so i just went back to her video and she said that he doesn't ensure once the package has a tracking number, it's no longer his 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 company's responsibility to for the package once there's a tracking number. I said, "What in good heaven is does that mean?" So there are some tips that I did not order that I wanted to order but now I can't order them from him because he's not a reliable that that doesn't make sense to me that you don't cover the large orders um, that's coming from your company if I don't ever get it mind you on top of that it is a almost like a three month wait to even get a um to for the orders to even ship out i said this makes absolutely no sense but then he was on a live and um he said that the reason why the wait time is so long is because he's still on lockdown and they're starting they're starting to um lift the lockdown so there's he's starting to have more people come in so there's still a long wait time on the order so i checked the little tracking thing that they send you in the email he hasn't even processed the order yet so I have paid and it hasn't even been processed yet. So I will not be ordering from Enel Couture again. So we're gonna cure this for uh, 60 seconds. So today we're going to use the Appraise top coat. Uh, it's a non-wipe top coat. I wasn't thinking when I did the very first video that I probably should have used this um, uh, as the top coat in the very first video because I use my own top coat that I prefer. So 
So we're going to apply a nice thin coat. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to cure for 30 seconds, but we're going to cure for 60 seconds just to be on the safe side. This is a nice top coat. Yeah, it's a nice thin consistency. And as soon as that order from Enel Couture comes in, we'll, we'll do an unboxing and then I'll do a video um, with his tips. He was just on um, Instagram doing a live and um, he's developed a new tip that you don't have to etch the inside. And I was like, oh man. You don't guarantee your your stuff once it's shipped. It's no longer your problem. Cause I wanted to order some. Okay, so now you know with my top coat, I always go back to make sure that I don't get any pulling or running. And please excuse my disastrous nails. And then we're going to cure this. I'm pretty sure you can cure it for 30 seconds, but we're going to cure for 60 seconds just to be safe. So go ahead and put that in. We're going to cure that for 60 seconds. So now that we've cured for 60 seconds, we are going to take our cuticle oil. We are going to gonna rehydrate our cuticles. And then we will massage it in. And then this is the final. The final result. This process should take no more than an hour. I did time it the last time I did it, and it took me an hour to do a full set of these. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.